Alright then everyone, so hello and welcome back to Mega Man X Hard Type by Hard Hunt. So, uh, I'm about to be going into the Launch Octopus stage. And one second, I gotta turn it down, I can barely hear myself. There we go, that's better. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to see what he'll do with this. Because, you know, another one of those tank guys. Because you'd expect the water physics to make it all the jumps a lot easier. Like there, I would have died if it hadn't have been water physics, but because it was water physics. Are you replenishing your HP? I better just storm tornado you in the face. Dead. All right. Storm tornado is always a good way to deal with a lot of things. Oh, no. For some reason, I keep expecting to swim. I've been playing too much other games recently that have involved swimming. Thankfully, it doesn't matter because I just got a huge amount of my HP back, and Sorb Tornado's just wrecking these guys for me. Oh, you're right in my face this time. I got some of my ammo back, that's good. I'm starting to run out of that. Oh, that'll replenish a lot. Okay, this is quite a long jump. Sorry about switching back and forth like this, but I like to have my blaster charged if I want it. Whoa, that's a... Okay, enemies at the bottom too. Do you guys come back? Or... Okay. Ow. Okay, yeah, you do come back eventually, so I have to get out of the way. Okay. Oh, wow, we can come back fast sometimes too. Jump! Fly, Mega Man! I mean, it's kind of hard to fly underwater, even if you could fly in general, but... Oh, okay, you're right here. Let's Storm Tornado you some more. Okay, I've only got one more. Is this enough? No, it will not be. Uh, let's throw something else at it. E-Spark? Nope. <laughs> I don't think I hit a checkpoint in there anywhere, so I'm gonna have to probably go back to the start. Yeah, had a feeling. You guys are right in my face a lot. No! Dang it, the health power messed me up because I went to jump at the exact moment that I ha collected that thing. Nah. Stupid health power up. <laughs> it's not often that I can play my death on a health power up. Though I have had a. S in Super Mario Crossover, I have noticed a surprising amount of deaths from one up blocks that are hidden and knock me down the hole. A more huge jump. And now I can expend the last of this. Storm Tornado. I presume that this does a great deal of damage. Let's let's uh, use the Storm Tornado to kill those guys. That was probably a huge waste. I think I shot it too fast to do damage. Okay, now let's uh, throw something else at him, like our shield. Yes, got him. Okay, let's uh, replenish Storm Tornado, because that's obviously the most useful one. It's kind of a, what half my strategy is based around, essentially. If I, especially if I see any more of those turtle guys that kicks butt against those. Oh wow, you guys, I forgot. Okay. I never really understood you guys before. Wait, do I seriously need to use those guys to get up somehow? Or am I overthinking it? Eh, probably overthinking it. Holy cow, you guys do a lot of damage if I actually run into you. Okay, this is weird. Ow. Okay, you guys are really weird. Not sure how to deal with you guys yet. At least I can do that. Ow. Okay, you can hit by the bottom of the spikes there. I thought it would be like Super Mario Bros. X engine where... I was hoping it would be like that anyway. So I wasn't being careful enough. Oh wow, that missed that time. Well, it didn't matter much. You can die. The water's so nice, it makes those jumps a lot easier than they would be otherwise. But I am completely out of Storm Tornado here, so... No, I got hit by the spikes. 
That's a death sentence right there when I already I was in a storm tornado. Okay, uh, let's go with our shield first thing. Oh wow, that actually really does clean that thing out. That's really nice to know. It wasn't just the storm tornado doing most of the work and the R shield finishing it off. It's more powerful than I thought it was, or maybe that thing just is weak to it. Like, I know all the Mavericks have some sort of weakness, I guess. Okay, that time I did that jump just fine. Kinda gotta use you guys to hover. Ow, holy cow. I guess I could make that jump off all the fish were out of the way too, so I could always try that. Alright, don't want to lose this now. Jump. Oh, another one of you guys, that's not good at all. I'm out of our shield and storm tornado. Okay. This move is dangerous. Alright, that takes care of all those guys. Let's let that hit for all it's worth. Fire out my last star shield. Uh, now what? E spark? Okay, just concentrate on avoiding this. Don't need to hit him while this is happening. Now I can use Storm Tornado to finish these guys off again. I don't think there's much I'm gonna get out of anything else, but I don't know, Sea Sting to the face. Oh, he's dead. Hopefully there's a checkpoint after that. Let's replenish some of my Storm Tornado. See how this goes. Okay, flat land. Oh man, more of these tricky spike jumps. Jump, Mega Man! I wonder if there's something down there. Always gotta check these things. Nope, doesn't appear to be that way. There seems to be like some sort of floating base up there, I guess. Uh, can't really get onto it in any way, but it's there. Okay, I'm making progress. There was a lot of nothing in that area behind me. Okay, uh, this is new. Hmm. I can only hit this thing with charge shots. Those, uh, thankfully those grabby things can't seem to come close enough to hit me, and that bomb shooter doesn't do a good job either. It's not a very well designed ship, I'd say. I wonder if you have to kill it to get through, or if I'm just killing it for no reason. Because I'm pretty sure in vanilla it didn't, wasn't required, but it seems like the sort of thing Hard Hunt would uh, make a little bit more relevant. I'm not sure whether it's fast- ow, shoot, I didn't see that one. I. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's faster to use the doubly charged shots or the green ones, but... Weird, it's not shooting anymore. Oh, never mind. I swig too soon. Ow. Okay, now it's falling down into the pit. I'm not sure... Oh, wow. Uh, am I falling into some sort of secret, or just... Okay, good. Well, secret's better than death, at any rate. Just by a little bit. Oh man. Didn't realize that I'd have to do something else there. Okay, good. I hit the midpoint, so it's no big deal. Uh, I think I hit the midpoint? Where am I? Okay, I'm just before this guy. The second one. I was worried about dying to this guy. I figured he'd be just before the midpoint, not after. Whoa, that is... I didn't know he could do that. Well, I've, at least I got plenty of her this time. Of course, I went and missed all the green things, which is gonna make this a royal pain in the butt. Our shield... D doesn't honestly do that great as a shielding mechanism, but, you know, it's pretty nice as an attack. Ironically, these things seem to work better as a shielding mechanism. One jump straight up lines me up nicely there, so that jump isn't as hard as it may as it appeared to me at first glance. Let's just try jumping across here. Now, that, hurt. that was perhaps not the best strategy, but let's try it again. Okay, so I can go this way, but it's more, less likely to contain a secret. Yeah, okay. I think I'm missing something by going this way, but I can't go back, so. Wow. Oh, I can stand on this guy. I had no idea. I definitely didn't need to use that part of his physics before. Okay, this is a lot more intense fight. I, I was wondering what you'd do with this guy, because I knew in vanilla this guy was ridiculously lame, for lack of a better term. He was just kind of like there, and you could dodge him just by standing off in a corner. He was like the lamest mini boss fight I've ever seen. But here we can just murder him like this. I don't know if something else would be better than my Mega Buster, but I'm not going to bother wasting my ammo unless. 
I decide that I need to bother figuring that out. I, having that ship crash through the spikes there, I wonder... Like, I don't feel like that's a natural uh, application of the game's physics, although I can't be sure. So I'm wondering if uh, that required some uh, large eventing or something, whatever the equivalent of that would be in this game. This guy's actually still kind of easy. I I thought he'd be a little bit harder having to jump on him a whole bunch, but he's slow enough that and doesn't seem to and gives you plenty of warning before anything happens. I may actually end up just killing myself anyway though, because I do want to see what's down at the bottom there. But I want to scope out as much of the level as possible. The only thing time I'll actually physically bother to kill myself is if I see that door. <laughs> right on cue, just as I was about to... Alright, that was suicide, but... And I actually mean deliberate suicide, not just the level being so hard it's suicide to play. That in Mega Man X hard type, you can always take something that way. Uh, is pretty much every level is intense. All right, let's take out my R shield here. Four of those. Let's see if I can storm tornado something. Well, that wasn't very useful. I was hoping to clear the worms out again, but I failed just as hardcore as I did last time with that. All right. It's easier to shoot him when he blows the other way because when he blows away from you, you're facing towards him when you run. Alright, so let's see if I can actually find a secret in this level. Alright, jump out of the water. Alright, let's see if I can kill this guy faster with something else. Let's see, I don't use a fire thing for anything else. And I'm not going to use it for this either, because it sucks! Uh, e-spark. <laughs> That does nothing. Storm Tornado? I really doubt it. Okay. I'm actually kind of surprised that he wasn't given an immunity to that, considering he was given an immunity to lots of things that seemed like they'd probably be better at cutting through a tanky enemy, but whatever. Okay. So now this time I'll be jumping up instead of all the way to the le right straight off the bat. Whoa, spike ceiling. Okay, did I make it anywhere? Okay, now this is probably going to be a fight with this guy that will trip me up a lot more than the other ones. Alright, I can at least get a lot of height. Ow. Okay, that was still nowhere to go from there. I think I'll try to hit him with something else and see if anything else does a whole pile of damage. Well, that does a whole pile of fail. Let's try... Okay, I can well jump off there. Okay, just instead of panicking and trying to jump on him this time, just jump on the wall again. I don't know if E-Spark is meaningful at all here, but... Okay, I'll try to... Okay, just gotta keep control and I won't fall. I may just be making myself uh, use my ammo more sparingly by using E-Spark <laughs> instead of... Uh, my regular blaster. Let's try Sea Sting. This should at least make it easier to hit with. <laughs> or uh, rather, I suppose in this case, easier to fail at hitting with. That one does damage. Shotgun Ice is kind of like the standard weapon if you're not going to use your standard weapon, if you know what I mean. It's kind of almost some basic one that's really easy to hit with. Which makes it nice in a lot of spots. But now it's out. So I'm down to my regular blaster. I think I'll just hang off this wall here, thanks, because it's easier than trying to play the game of uh, jump on the boss and. Alright. This isn't this isn't going badly at all. Just need to take my time and don't panic. pretty safe on this wall, actually, which seems a lot more dangerous than it would be, but... Good, you're dead. Now I can hopefully move to the right and probably collect to some sort of secret down here. Unless this is just some sort of wacky alternate route, but I don't see this being a wacky alternate route. Yes, it's an HP power-up. I thought so. However you find any of the other things that aren't HP power-ups, 
I've been completely failing at that so far. Alright, now, so I can just climb back up. So I wonder if that- is, does that guy dead already, or do I have to fight his other incarnation up here? I think he might stay dead. Nope, I was wrong. Whatever, I fought you with that ammo last time, I can fight you with that ammo this time. And I've got the HP power for keepsies now, so don't need to worry about that one. I do need to worry about dying, but I still have to avoid the spikes. I got hit by him, but he doesn't do really as much damage as the spikes do, so I'm good. Jump! Managed to hit him with a double trunk blaster face. I gotta say, this is really cool how you fight him by standing on top of him. What would not be cool is dashing into the spikes. Why can't I move? Why am I stuck? Ah, okay, somehow my cursor cut unhinged from Zed's nest. Thankfully, uh, he decided to go further around in the corner for five minutes, so... Yeah, <laughs> that's just so cool. Just stand on him like, Leroy Jenkins! That's not- it's a lot more forgiving than it looks. You really switch guys, I hate you guys. It's hard to- yeah, it's always hard to tell what you guys are actually doing. Is so, anything yeah, up here? Always gotta check. Nope, don't, don't yank me that way. I'm going in here, see ya. I'm going in my little hidey hole. I want my alone time, please. Alright. Again, taking any bets on whether I'm going to defeat him with this amount of HP. And no weapons, for that matter. Well, uh, this is... Not a flat stage with holes in it or spikes in the wall. This one has been completely redesigned. Eh. Well, that didn't work. Well, let's see my weapons. I can pretty much... I, I can pretty much, I'm not a betting man, but I can guess that my fire weapon is not going to be the weapon of choice here. J just a thought. Let's try Storm Tornado, even though I'm almost certainly expecting, it may have even been Flame, flame Mammoth's weaknesses, weakness considering it hit him at all. Although I do, I must say it's kind of nice that it gets rid of a lot of his shots, but... Let's try something else. E Spark. This would be a logical weakness. Ow. Holy cow, what are you doing? Creepy octopus dude. That one. That one does two damage again. Just like it did against, uh. Ow. Just like it did against Flame Mammoth. Alright, it's kind of sucking me over there. Okay, <laughs> All my weapons seem to be doing damage, just nothing so, uh, ecstatically powerful as, uh, Ice Shot was doing against... What's-his-face? Spark Mandrill. Okay. Man, that, that barrage of attacks. Oh yeah, I haven't tried our shield yet. Okay, don't get sucked into that, that's a good thought. That, that barrage of attacks. I do seem to get some hits on him, which is nice. Alright, gives me a lot of time to do stuff with him. He does that move. I noticed that in the too. If he does that, though, I'm in pain. I could always try and use Storm Tornado to deal with those and uh, my other weapons to deal with his other- to actually do the main damage to him. It looks like there's an escalator in the background. That just seems like a strange thing to have underwater. kind of have like a moment of delay every time you hit him, which is nice, but... Yeah. That attack, if he uses it at the right time, it's a complete waste of his time, free hits for me, but if he uses it at the wrong time, I can't really... I haven't been able to figure out how to dodge it away a bit. Ugh, so many projectiles. <laughs> This time I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try using my regular blaster for a little bit because that way I can shoot those things without worrying with ammo. I don't know if that'll be effective at all, but. Self repeat a little bit. I'm gonna use the spark here to do some damage. Switch 
Captain Spark. Let's do it again. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> Failed to dash again. <sighs> Failed to dash again. Dang it, I messed up my dash again. Didn't think I had much of a way out of that. that I can do that sometimes. I have a feeling this attempt is going to be edited in. Oh, I don't think I'm going to beat him. <laughs> My prediction was correct on the second one. Dang, I can get it to the wrong jump there. I'm so glad that ammo restores. That way I can actually use in the boss fights without feeling like. Because otherwise this could be a great deal less fun. I guess. Hey, yeah, it deflects off the bullet. That's nice. Gives me means of hitting him when, I, when he's down there. <laughs> Man, that's handy. If I didn't jump into the spikes, I would have helped a lot. I'm starting to get the hang of this. I think I'll have him done probably soon. Now it's going to take me a long time to do this. Oh, that was a very long time. Brought me to this whirlwind of death there. Oh man, he's hit. <laughs> what is going on? He wasn't able to break that there at all. He uses fish or something that I can't deal with because I'm using oil. I love how he kind of points his tentacle downwards, like, you see how you're down there? I'm coming down there. And then he just jumps in the pit. There's no way I could. I mean, think of it. It's stressful. Yep. Feels like every single time. I mean, the perfect speed so that you can complete. Yeah, he's getting hauled. Stay down there and shoot missiles and let me blow away the air shield, but with one HP there wasn't a lot of other options on the table. Now I'm dead. That fish. Okay. <laughs> Must have just been a fluke a while ago when I was getting those good runs, cause I'm not having such good runs now. Oh, those fish, there's so many obstacles. Didn't dash. I can first set of fish. That's going so well two seconds ago, but. Shield or spark thing. 
But those spikes, they massacred me. left instead. Got him! Yeah! Take that! I knew he had two left, I was like, one shot from the R shield, I don't need to worry about the fish from behind hitting me because he's gonna die. Okay. Man, that boss fight was really good. I liked it a lot. <laughs> the fish were hard to dodge, but... and it wasn't... There was no formula to dodging them, but I felt like I felt like my mistakes were mistakes and not trolled by the game sort of thing. That's what I like about pretty much every level in this hack. Oh man, a password that I'm not going to use because my password is state 77. It's a lot easier to remember, I gotta say. But man, yeah, that, that boss fight is fast-paced and there are openings, you just have to see where they are. I realized towards the end that uh, jump when he jumped onto the ledge, it was often good to go under him rather than try to go over him. Like, I had been doing that in the past, but I hadn't really internalized that, hey, this is a strategy that I need to do all the time instead of acting like an idiot and trying to jump over the boss that you can't quite jump over. At least not without dashing. I suppose I could do it if I dashed backwards and then did some crazy shenanigans over his head. But, yeah. So that stage took one of the longest ones so far. I guess it's fitting for an intense stage. Almost all of that was against the boss, though. It wasn't really from the stage itself, I noticed. The stage itself didn't take that many attempts, it was just the boss. But yeah, wouldn't have expected anything else from the intense level stage. So we're gonna be fighting Boomer Kwanger last time, then, I mean, last time, next time. How, am I, how are we going to fight him last time? I can't go and alter the past here. Anyway, see you later.